In this short test, we'll demonstrate the huge time and space savings gained by using Phoenix Contact's high-speed connection kits to connect a Honeywell Experion PKS IOTA. We'll do this by wiring the same 16-channel analog input card. On the left, we have the Phoenix Contact connection system. On the right, hardwired terminal box. With the backdrop set, let's start the test. The installation on the left begins with the installer adding an IOTA adapter to the analog IOTA. This adapter plugs right into the existing terminal box sockets on the IOTA and then allows a 37-pin D-sub cable to be used later. In addition to simply being pushed in, the adapter is further secured with locking screws that bind the adapter to the IOTA. Meanwhile, on the right, the installer begins the task of adding a row of terminal blocks. In this case, three terminal blocks are needed for each signal a total of 48 terminal blocks for signals, fuses, and ground. Oh, and don't forget the end clamps. Basically, we're dealing with a whole lot of terminal blocks. As you can see, the installer on the left has already moved on to the next step, adding the field termination assembly, or FTA. This FTA provides the same three-wire connection used in the terminal block arrangement. Also, just like the terminal block arrangement, fuses, disconnects, and test points are also provided for each channel. The key difference, all those functions are contained in a footprint of roughly four inches. With the FTA mounted, the installer then plugs in and screws down a 37 pin D-sub cable to the IOTA adapter. Once secure, the other end of the cable is plugged in and secured to the FTA. Finally, all that's left is dressing the cable in the wire duct and adding the cover. And that's it, in only 90 seconds. 16 channels have been connected with fusing, disconnects, and blown fuse indication. And by the way, all that done in a footprint of about four inches. Meanwhile, over on the right, the terminal block arrangement has just barely begun. But rather than make you sit through the entire installation, let's fast forward while keeping the clock in sync. So what exactly is taking place? Well, the measuring and cutting of all conductors stripping, barreling each end, and finally terminating each wire. And keep in mind, there are 48 wires. That means a total of 96 connection points, one for each side. Now, not only does that take a long time, it also gives you 96 potential points of failure in the system. And each will require additional testing before commissioning. Finally, the wires are now terminated and dressed, and the terminal block installation is finally complete in about 38 minutes. So there you have it, 90 seconds versus 38 minutes, and in a quarter of the space. Just think about what you can do with the extra time and space you'll save project after project. For selection guides, data sheets, or more information, check out www.phoenixcontact.com experion pks